Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how your look makes people feel. Please be aware that this is a journal reading so only take a resonates, leave the rest. So we have three piles to choose from. For pile number one we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Empress. For pile number two we have Honey Calcite with the Ten of Pentacles. And for pile three we have Red Jasper with the Eight of Wands. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to you the most, the one that stands out to you the most. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this Rose Quartz Crystal and the Empress card then this is your reading. We're going to be taking a look at how your looks makes people feel. Please be aware that this is a general reading so only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started with your reading I'd just like to announce that I am available for personal readings this month with a limited amount of space so if you'd like to book with me you can find my email address in the description box below. So let's get started with your tarot cards. I'm going to use um, the cards as well as clairvoyance in this reading. So let's see. Spirit guides of pile number ones. Spirit guides of pile number ones. How their look makes others feel. How their look makes people feel. Let's see. We have the two of pentacles showing up first. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up next. We have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the World. At the back of the deck we do have the Six of Swords. So what I'm sensing straight away from your pile here. With the Empress here... It's clear that you have this uh, beauty that you're coming through with. Um, and if you're a man watching, then you could just have a very handsome look to you as well. But I'm picking up a lot of beauty in this pile. So if you're a woman watching, you know, people could see you as somebody that has a lot of beauty, that has this kind of Venusian energy to you. There's something about your fashion style looking good, you carrying yourself with gracefulness. There's something about your makeup looking really good too whenever you do wear makeup, but also having a sense of natural beauty where you don't need that makeup, but it accentuates your beautiful features. So I do sense that like when people look at you and your face, they really like to admire um, your beauty almost like art. So with that Venus energy I'm picking up on, it's like, you know when you see a beautiful artwork and you just want to admire it for hours and end? That is how people feel when they look at you and your look and your face. There's also something about your hair being very beautiful and flowy. There's a sense of, um, how do I put this in words? Like your hair looks healthy, but not only that, it doesn't just look healthy, it looks like you take care of your hair, like maybe some of you put oils in your hair or maybe some of you um, have really good smelling hair where you wash your hair with uh, good products. Something about that is coming through or making sure you brush your hair nicely, style it nicely every day. It just always looks perfect and in place. That's the words I want to use based off the way other people are looking at you. There's also something about your eyebrows that are very eye-catching. I'd say your look comes through as eye-catching, but there is a sense of softness and a gentleness to the way that you look that people really admire, like they're looking at an artwork metaphorically. There's also something about you having a beautiful heart and a beautiful personality that people see. So not only do you have this beauty to you and the way that you look or handsomeness, but there's also a sense of you having a beautiful heart 
you being somebody very nurturing, you somebody, you being somebody with a big heart. Um, you're a giver. You're somebody that goes with the flow and that kind of go with the flow vibe you have is very beautiful to others. It also seems like lately you have a lot of self-love. You're you're showing up with this very self-assured energy lately and that is something people find very attractive right now. So how does your look make people feel? I feel like with the Empress here and her carrying a heart here I do sense that other people feel since your look comes through as very pretty flowy gentle um even for the men here you could have like a very gentle look to you that it makes people trust you easily even when they're a stranger to you it makes them trust you easily so then they'll start to feel more connected to you from the heart space and less um what is the word defensive around you so i say that people feel more com comfortable around you based off your look they feel more safe around you they feel like they can trust you because you have a trustworthy looking face um, and also with your beauty, it makes people admire you from afar. It makes people feel emotionally connected to you in a way where maybe they're not truly emotionally connected to you, but it's giving me that vibe of like love at first sight. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that with the King of Cups and Ten of Cups. Like people will start to develop feelings for you, but maybe it's not really true feelings. Maybe it's just being attracted to you in some way where they would want to make you a girlfriend or boyfriend to them or be in a relationship with you with the Ten of Cups. And there's something about your look making people feel like the sense of attraction towards you where they want to date you, where they want to ask you out and wanting to, um, not wanting to, but having feelings for you with the King of Cups. So when people do ask you out on dates or things like that, uh, there's something about them catching feelings very quickly. But I also see this in the sense of platonic friendships uh, where people will be like, oh my gosh, I want to be friends with that person um, because there's just something about you. And I don't think it's just your look. It's also your vibe that you give off that makes people trust you easily. There's something about that coming through. Your look also makes people feel at peace. Again, the artwork energy is coming up. You know, like when you look at a beautiful artwork and you just feel you're filled with peace. Something about that is coming through. There's also something about growth here. So there's something about you looking a little bit more bougie or expensive with the Queen of Pentacles. Or you look like you really invest your money into products for yourself. Like, for example, for the woman here, I just saw 1111 on the clock. Um, let's say you buy really good quality makeup and you invest in yourself. Or let's say you buy good quality clothes that are going to last you a long time. Or you buy jewelry that maybe is a little bit expensive, but is going to last you longer. So then other people will see that and feel like, oh, you know, I've been buying clothes from this place. And after two months, it's, it's not even in good quality or shape anymore. So I see pile number one doing that. Maybe I should do that too. Maybe I should spoil myself a little bit. So there's something about your self-love rubbing off on others where they also want to spoil themselves, do some self-love, especially if you're somebody that does a lot of self-care, self-love, maybe does some face masks, um, skincare, anything along those lines. Um, or if people see that your hair is very healthy, where maybe you put oils in it, maybe they ask you, what do you do to make your hair so healthy? And then they start wanting to do that too. So there's a feeling here of like seeing you in your beauty and other people of the same gender feeling inspired by that in a sense where they want to do some changes within themselves um, to make themselves feel beautiful too. So it's almost like when people see you feeling beautiful, they want to feel beautiful too and sort of like follow your lead, not in a sense of copying you or not in a sense of them not feeling beautiful themselves, but in a sense of feeling inspired by you. What else do we have here? Yeah, your look makes people feel balanced and at ease, like comfortable. That is the basis of what I see here. Let's get some more cards for you. 
So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this video so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I'm so, so, so grateful for you and I hope you enjoy this reading. So let's see. I feel like there's something here about your body that looks very good where other people will look at it and be like, damn, um, I feel some sensual attraction now. There's also something about you having a very beautiful voice. Something about the words you say. Something about your voice being very much like a melody. Um, where it, it again makes people feel at peace. Makes people want to listen to you more. Um, and something about the way you love yourself. Especially for the woman here. Makes other women want to love themselves. So that is a very good thing to see. There's something about you that is quite influential. Whether you realize that or not, I do see that here. So let's see what cards you have. I just need to cover this one. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so we have the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. So let's just put that here. Then we have the mother of imams. Uh, love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. Then we have the goddess of magic with sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. So confirmation of what I said with your body because she's also nude here. That's why I had to cover her because of YouTube. Um, but there's something about you bringing on a feeling of temptation from others where with the goddess of magic here it kind of feels like you're very alluring like you've sort of put a spell on people and they can't stop staring at you like it's this kind of hypnotizing effect you have on others that is quite alluring then we have the mystic of peace confirmation i am peace when my mind is clear the way is clear and we have the patroness of impossible causes i am miraculous my prayers create powerful channels of possibility. So what am I getting here, spirit? I'm also seeing the shoes you wear look pretty good. Again, that influential energy is coming through where, like, let's say you're a woman, other women would want to wear similar shoes to you because they're inspired by your look. Um, if you're a man, same thing, other men will maybe want to sort of like take inspiration from your look and find out where you got those shoes or got get ones that look similar or sort of like take influence from your style and aesthetic where they want to dress like that too. I'm also seeing some women here where, let's say you don't try to be sexy, but you still come across as sexy anyway, where it's your vibe. Because um, I'm even seeing some of you dress quite modestly. You don't really show much skin, but you still come across as sexy to others. So that is something I see here for some of you, not all. There's also something about your lips really standing out. As I look at these four images, I'm really drawn to their lips. And the way she kind of like has her mouth a little bit open here looks very pretty. So there's something about like when you talk, not only your voice is something people find very beautiful or very sexy, very handsome. Uh, but there's also something about your lips, the way your lips move when you're talking, the way your lips are sitting um, naturally, falling naturally. So also, like, if you're a woman and you wear lipsticks, lip glosses, that's something that really stands out to others. And again, it's like, I, I want to get the same lip gloss as her, or I wonder what lipstick she used there. That shade looks so pretty. Something like that's coming through for the woman especially. Maybe even your makeup skills are really good, because I'm really drawn to her makeup here and hers here, and it looks very glamorous. So... It's kind of like you influence others to want to take on from your style, from your aesthetic, from the way you do your makeup, your hair, um, where they want to do similar things too. So how your look makes people feel, um, they feel at peace, they feel like their mind is clear, not only just looking at you and staring at you, but when they're talking to you, you just have this very peaceful vibe that makes people feel comfortable, that makes people feel like they don't have to have a guard up. They don't have to 
um, overthink or anything. It just feels like their mind is clear. It just feels like they enjoy the conversations with you. They enjoy hearing what you have to say. It's also like when people talk to you, they kind of just see that you're beautiful, that you're handsome, but then when you actually talk to them and they hear how smart you are, when they hear how wise you are, um, I feel like you're my pile that has that strong intuition that guides you. And you are you have this strong connection to the divine, belief in the divine. So it's something like about people talking to you and you having this kind of energy where you are giving them wisdom or giving them advice or just being very smart with your words where people feel very attracted to that but they also feel what is the word to use spirit in awe so when you're speaking and they hear the wisdom that you're giving they're in awe of the wisdom that you're giving yet some people also feel a jealousy there I felt that energetically now. So I'm getting the sense like let's say you give somebody advice and this is maybe your intuition telling you this and then they're a little bit spiteful and they're like I'm not going to take your advice I'm going to do the opposite of what you said. So I'm sensing an energy like that. I feel like okay the jealousy there is not coming through in the spread of the cards because I feel like most people that are like that your intuition lets you know the energy. The energy does not lie with you. Your intuition always lets you know when somebody isn't in their heart space and you just like distance yourself real quick. So I feel like, you know, there are few people that do feel jealous from your look, but I feel like you distance yourself quite quickly from people like that. So they're not showing up quite strongly in your energy field. Okay, um, with the goddess of magic, it again, people kind of feel like they're under your spell. People kind of feel like your look gives off this vibe that is quite magical and ethereal for some of you. Uh, for others of you, there's this feeling of you being... What is the word to use, spirit? Mm, enchanting is the word I want to use. And alluring in some way. So there's definitely a sense of attraction people feel. People also feel like you have this energy about you that feels like a miracle. It feels like you're a rare gem. When they really get to know you, it feels like you're that type of person people would pray to have around them. People would pray to have as a friend, a lover. Like, you are beautiful, pile number one, inside and out. And that is something that really... Um, sort of chokes people up where you have a beautiful personality but also a beauty about you physically that just shocks people um, and makes them feel like you know a lot of people would pray for a person like you you're a rare gem and there's a sense of appreciation they feel being around you 11 22 on the clock there's a sense of a feeling of love whether that be platonic or romantic or um, a sense of attraction and gratitude um, I'm going to close my eyes now to get some last clairvoyant messages. What else, spirit? How does their look make people feel? So I'm literally seeing a computer and somebody trying to find an outfit that you're wearing. Let's say you post something on social media and then, you know, you have that Google search thing where you can insert an image and find out where that outfit is from or find similar outfits. I literally see that. So that influential energy is showing up the strongest within your pile. What else? Um, Spirit is showing me a medal. So people feel like you sort of deserve to be rewarded as, for example, like the best dressed or uh, like let's say you were to go to an event. You would be, if there were like sort of awards for that, you would be awarded for the best dressed or um, the most beautiful or the most creative outfit. Something like that is coming through. Um, and maybe not even rewarded, but it's like people can see that when you're in the room, maybe you're the best dressed. Maybe you have the best makeup. Uh, there's something about you having the best something. That's something I see here. Um, but people also feel like it's a reward to just speak to you. Uh, I don't know why this is, but I think it's just a human thing. 
I don't know why people do this, but subconsciously they do this. I'm sensing this where people will put you a little bit on a pedestal and feel like they're so lucky to talk to you. So what Spirit is showing me is, you know, when a celebrity is talking to somebody, because they have that status of celebrity, people will put them on such a pedestal that it's like, I'll kiss your feet. Like, I'm so lucky to speak to you. It's kind of like that vibe. Um, of course, people are not going to be that much because I don't know, but it's like they put you on a pedestal and then they kind of feel like they're lucky to even be speaking to you. They're lucky that you're even paying attention to them. So it's kind of like when somebody is attractive, people put them on such a pedestal that it's just crazy. <laughs> um, but this is basically what I'm sensing here for you. That's the gist of what I see here for you. This is how your look makes people feel. I really hope this reading resonated for you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this honey calcite crystal in the ten of pentacles then this is your reading, we're going to be taking a look at how your look makes people feel. So please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started with your reading, I'd just like to announce I am available for personal readings with a limited amount of space available, so if you'd like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So let's get out your tarot cards. I'm going to use a mix of tarot and clairvoyance as well as oracle cards towards the middle of your reading. Okay, so spirit guides of pile number twos. Spirit guides of pile number twos. How does their look make people feel? We have strength showing up first. Then we have the devil. Then we have the five of swords. The eight of pentacles and the magician. You may have been drawn to pile number one because I mentioned this energy within pile one, but if not, it's okay. Um, but the similarity I see here with the magician and Hecate, Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft magic, but we don't have to take it like that. Some of you could have a little bit of a witchy or more spiritual look to you, but if you're not resonating with that, it's okay. But what I'm taking from this is it's kind of like you have a little bit of this enchanting, magical look to you where people sort of feel like when they're staring at you, there's something very hypnotizing about the way you look, where they just want to continue staring at you. Sometimes people will even crush on you and because you're so attractive to them and there's just something about you, it's not just your attractiveness, there's just something about you. Um, where they can't get you off their mind. I even sense people from your past where it's like they just can't get you off their mind and it's like sort of feeling like I'm under your spell with Hecate here. So that's the first thing I see here. The next thing I see here is a lot of sensual attraction. Um, there's something about people looking at you as if you're very sexy with the devil card here. There's something about your look making people a little bit obsessed, to be honest. Um, I don't know if a lot of you have Scorpio risings or a lot of 12th house or 8th house placements. Or I'm sensing like Pluto in the first house or Leo risings too. Um, so there's something here about you having that effect on people where they start to get obsessed with you with the devil card, where they start to feel like, yeah, I can't get you off my mind. I can't stop thinking about you. I see you everywhere. Everything reminds me of you. Um, I can't stop speaking about you. And this doesn't just have to do with people that are attracted to you. This is also to do with friendships. People will literally obsess over you, but not only friendships, um, five of swords here can indicate some feelings of jealousy, hidden jealousy that people have towards you where they get so obsessed with you because they're so jealous of you, where they start to try, they start to try to become you. I'm sensing that with this pile, like people will, um, pile number one was a little bit different where people were more so inspired by them. 
and more so wanted to take on certain things from their look because they find it inspiring and influential. But for your pile, it's more so like I'm seeing you. It's like I'm admiring you so much that I become obsessed with you. And then once I become obsessed with you, I'm starting to ask myself, why can't I be like you? Um, and then it's like, I'm almost starting to try to become you. So you may have some people that try to copy your mannerisms, that try to copy your style, that let's say you do your hairstyle a certain way or color your hair a certain way or cut your hair a certain way, then they're going to do the same. Or they start trying to speak like you, start trying to tell jokes like you. I sort of feel that energy and it doesn't just have to do with your look. It has to do with your personality traits too, where people will start to feel like they want to become you. It's sort of like, it's a weird energy because it's like they're admiring you so much that they become obsessed with you. And then there comes the jealousy and then it's like, I want to be you because I don't feel good enough about myself. And it's kind of like, with Chiron here, this is the wounded healer. You may un unintentionally, from a spiritual lens and higher perspective, be healing people through triggering their jealousy, triggering this kind of feeling within them that they don't feel good enough on their own. You don't make them feel like that. They don't feel good enough on their own. So you may trigger that within them to bring healing to them with Chiron here. And then eventually I actually see them working on themselves because I see them feeling bad. Like I'm obsessing over pile number two, trying to be like them, trying to copy them, yet also hating on them at the same time, being jealous of them at the same time because I want what they have. And then I see them starting to look within if they are self-aware um, and trying to work on these qualities and traits within themselves. So that is an energy I see here. And I just saw 555 as I said that. So you may change something within their perspective with the butterflies here. Bring them an unintentional transformation where you're not doing anything, but you triggered something within them. Um, with the world here, I'm getting the feeling like, and how he's holding the world up. I'm literally seeing a vision of somebody running to open up the door for you or someone running to carry something heavy for you, um, for the women here. But it doesn't just have to be women. There's something about your look making people wanting, making people want to do things for you so that you don't have to do anything, so that you can just sit there and look pretty or look handsome. Uh, I sense that energy of like people having the urge to do things for you, to get you a drink if you're at a party or event or to walk you home, to open a door for you. That's the kind of energy I feel here intuitively, but also with strength, some of you could have very good looking bodies. A lot of you could where it's like you look very fit. You look uh, like you take good care of your body and your health, even with the apple here. Um, so there's this feeling here of even if you don't, you may just look like you take care of your body. You may just look like you eat healthy, even if you don't. Um, and it may also influence others to try do the same to try look at themselves and see, okay, you know, I've been eating a lot of junk food. I haven't been taking care of my health. I've been just sitting on the couch all day. Look at pile number two. They're eating healthy. Um, so I should do the same. So it's kind of like your look influences people as well to start working on the parts of themselves that they want to um, improve. Um, I was going to say the word change, but change is not the right word, improve. Um, and it's kind of like you help people motivate themselves to actually work on the things they've been wanting to do but haven't been doing, where they feel like they're self-sabotaging and self-betraying by not doing that. So I see something along those lines. And when I tap into this energy, I feel like there are vast, there's like a vast energy here. There could be some men watching this pile where you're very good looking. There's something about your body that's very attractive for the women as well, non-binary non too. Uh, there's something about your body that's very attractive to others. Um, I'm also seeing women here that are very curvy. Spirit is showing me like Marilyn Monroe as an example, how she has those curves. Um, so people could feel, I'm seeing 
you have this mouth-watering effect on people with your body or this jaw-dropping effect on people with your body. Uh, there's something about that and the way clothes fit on your body, the way clothes uh, fall perfectly on your body and there's something about your clothes looking good with your body type. So even if I haven't mentioned your body type, um, there's something about your body being prominent here in what people are attracted to where they feel like your clothes fit perfectly on your body and show off the right areas that are attractive to others, if that makes sense. So I'm seeing people almost feel, how do they feel from that? Again, mouth-watering effect, like, damn. But even if it's not attraction, like, okay, for example, let's say you're a woman watching and you're attracted to men, but for the LGBTQ plus community too. But let's just say that as an example and another woman looks at you and they're like, damn, like they may feel like this urge to come up to you and compliment you, uh, shower you with compliments, things like that. That's what I'm seeing. So it's kind of like, it's not just with the people you're attracted to, but also other people that aren't looking at you in that in that um, sensual way. So with the Ten of Pentacles, I also feel there are some women here that are a little bit more mature, um, a little bit more elegant. I'm getting this elegant vibe from her. Something about that is coming through where people feel like that's very beautiful and people feel like you carry yourself with maturity and elegance. And there's something about people looking up to you with with this type of energy. Spirit is showing me the royal family as an example, how, you know, people look at them with this awe. So there's something for the classy women here, the women that dress a little bit more mature and elegant. Um, there's something about people looking at you with awe. I know I haven't really gotten into feelings, but I feel like the feelings are mixed into what I'm saying. So what else, Spirit, are people feeling? So Spirit is showing me um, the scene from The Little Mermaid when uh, Sebastian is saying, go ahead and kiss the girl. So there's something here about people feeling tempted by you. There's something here about people feeling attracted to you. That is the most prominent energy showing up. Obsessed, jealous feeling like they need to work on some things within themselves where they see you doing that. And it doesn't just have to do with physical appearance. I also see people being inspired by the way you um, show up within your career. Something about that is coming through. Maybe they see you as a hard worker and they want to do that too. Something about that's coming through. Or maybe they see you putting in a lot of time and effort into your look. It seems like you always look put together, like you always put a lot of time and effort into their look and maybe they feel like they've been lacking on that side so they start to feel like I should do that too. Something about that is coming through here. What else, spirit? What else are people feeling from their look? So I'm literally seeing an arrow and trying to shoot their shot with you, um, not just romantically but also platonically. So let's get your oracle cards. Spirit guides of pile number twos. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoyed this video so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that watches my videos and supports my videos. I'm sending you so much love and gratitude and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's see. Um, I do also feel like people feel you have a very unique face. Um, you have that type of face that not many people see. Some of you could also have tattoos and other people see you and they're like, ooh, that tattoo is so cool. Like, I want to get one like that too. Or I've been meaning to get a tattoo, but putting it off, I want to get one too. Something about that is showing up for those that have tattoos here. Um, I feel like... An emotion you bring up is inspiration too, but in a way where it's like, I haven't been doing this or I've been putting this off and now I see pile number two doing it, so I should do it too. So sp what Spirit is showing me here is like, you know when you have two dogs and you give 
one dog this food and you give this dog the other food and they're the exact same meal but the one dog will want to go to the other dog's meal because it looks more appealing so it's like they had that idea maybe but they never did it they slept on it and then they see you doing that idea and then it's like oh I should do that too I see something along those lines so we have the goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. It can even be to do with, it can even have to do with your fashion style. Like let's say somebody uh, wanted to buy something similar to what you're wearing and now you're wearing it and you wearing it and you, it looking so good on you. They're like, oh, I should really go buy an buy that um, item of clothing before it gets sold out. So I see something like that. The goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave when I commit to love my soul evolves. We have the saint of true freedom. With love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. We have the saint of spoken words. With every word I say becomes a prayer. I'm the author of my own story. Um, the red goddess with playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. And do you see the arrow here? Confirmation. Um, and last but not least, we have the essence of all Buddhas. I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. Okay, so what I'm getting here with Bridget, this is a creativity. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, she's a goddess of creativity, the home, the hearth. So there's something about your look coming through as very creative to others, where there's a lot of self-expression here, where there's this feeling of you inspiring others, bringing creative inspiration to others with the way that you look, right? There's also something about this pile having very beautiful eyes that are Again, like hypnotizing in a way where I keep wanting to stare into your eyes. No matter what your eye looks like, eyes look like, there's something about your eyes here. There's also something about your hair that really stands out where people almost feel this urge to want to touch your hair. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting like, for example, let's say you're a woman. Um, other women could want to like play with your hair or braid your hair for you because it's just so beautiful. I feel like a lot of you have very long hair for the women here. But if not, it's okay. There's something about your hair that really stands out about you, that really frames your face beautifully, that makes you... It, it makes you stand out more. It's, it's very prominent. It's something people notice, okay? For the men too, there's something about your hair, your facial hair, something about that showing up. Also with the goddess of the home, the hearth, there's something about your look that makes people feel comfortable around you, that makes people feel at ease around you. So that's why I say there's similarities to pile one. But there's a sense of like, I feel at home with you. Um, I feel like if I'm in other people's energy and I want to be your friend, for example, I feel like I could come to your house today. Maybe you invite me to your house and we're getting to know each other and like we could lie on the couch together and just chill. And I just feel chilled in front of you where I wouldn't feel the need to um, to try to be something I'm, I'm not. I just feel chilled. I wouldn't try to feel the need to uh almost like kiss your ass like I don't know why I'm saying that but I don't know it's coming through but I feel like it's not your look that makes people feel like that it's your vibe it's the fact that you're able to make other people feel comfortable there's something about you making an effort to make others feel comfortable around you at ease you could even be that type of person that stands up for others that like, let's say you see somebody speaking in a group and you see them, like people talking over them a lot. You could be that one person that makes sure you show them that you're listening to them to make them feel heard too. Something like that is coming up here. Um, So you just, there's something about your personality here where you make people feel included. That is what I see here. And there's something about you being attractive, but you being one of those kind, attractive people. There is also something here about people feeling the need to talk to you with these saints of spoken words. 
people feeling the need to really get to know you, really pick your brain, um, have deep conversations with you, get to know what your opinions on things are. It's like they just feel drawn to you in a way where they want to talk to you, where they want to understand you on a deeper level, um, understand the way your mind works, what uh, what your opinions are on certain things. That's the kind of energy I feel. Um, but there's also a sense of peace when people look at you and your face. Um, your face brings a sense of peace. You also look like the type of person that commits to things, that devotes yourself to people. And, you know, when you really um, commit to a project or something you want to do, you stick to it. There's something about that coming through where other people feel the need to um, commit to things too. So let's say, for example, um, we mentioned something about gymming earlier, eating healthy. Let's say somebody eats, sees you eating healthy um, and you're really committed to your healthy diet. But at the same time, maybe you spoil yourself once in a while. There's something about other people looking at you and wanting to do the same. Or there's something here about you devoting yourself to others, loving others, showing them that you won't leave, and then them feeling the need to do the same. I just saw your spirit guide fly past me um, like a, in a sparkle. So in the day, I don't see spirits, I see energies, but at night... My gifts are very open where I actually see spirits. Um, I feel like for me, I don't want to go on about this, but like my mediumship abilities are opening and I'm kind of scared of them a little bit. So I feel like in a day when I'm channeling, spirit doesn't show me their full form to not scare me. But anyhow, we have your playfulness as a spiritual power. There's a feeling here of... Um, I'm really drawn to her smile here. So there's something about you having a beautiful smile and people intentionally wanting to say things to make you laugh, to make you smile because you have this contagious smile and laughter that it wants to make them smile too. So when you're happy, other people feel happy. When you're smiling, other people want to smile. Um, it's like you could be that one person that walks and smiles at a stranger and they've had such a bad day, but your smile alone brightens their day. Something about you bringing light to people. And I don't feel like it's just you and your look, but it's your energy too. There's something about you having this vibe about you that makes people feel free. That makes people feel like, okay, I can just be myself. Um, maybe it's because you're so comfortable with your own self-expression and your own authenticity. Where it's like, if I want to wear this, I'm going to wear this. Like, I'm not going to um, make myself small. And then other people start to do that too. So I'm seeing something about that very strongly. So this is what I have for you, pile number two. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this red jasper crystal and the eight of wands then this is your reading, we're going to be taking a look at how your look makes people feel. Please be aware that this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Before we get started, I'd just like to announce that I am available for personal readings this month with a limited amount of space available, so if you'd like to book with me, you can find my email address in the description box below. So let's get started with your tarot cards. Let's see what you have here. So I'm going to use a mix of cards and clairvoyance. Um, I'm first going to look at your tarot cards and then towards the middle of the reading we're looking, we're going to look at your oracle cards. So spirit guides of pile number three, spirit guides of pile number three, how their look makes people feel, please. Ace of pentacles. The Three of Swords. Interesting. Um, the Ace of Swords. There's something here about insecurities. Um, let's just get the rest of your cards. Queen of Pentacles. And Judgment. So what I'm sensing here from these two cards, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords, there's something here about you bringing out a feeling of insecurity in some people um, of the same gender as you. So let's say you're at some kind of event or some kind of place. Um, 
they'll kind of look at themselves and feel a little bit self-conscious because you're very attractive to them and you seem to be very confident in yourself with the lions. Whether you are or not, you just seem confident, you seem self-assured, you seem like you carry yourself with confidence and self-love. Um, and Aphrodite is popping out. She's the goddess of beauty, love, romance, and she's the most beautiful goddess of them all. So it's almost like um, if I had to translate this into a physical human thing, let's just say another person's looking at you and they feel like, you're the most beautiful or handsome person in the room and they can't compete with you. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here if I had to translate that into a human perspective. So with chaos here, it's kind of like chaos running through their mind. And I feel like with this pile, it's very common that this happens to you. Um, but I feel like I, I'm not picking up on jealousy, more so insecurity. With pile two, I picked up on a lot of jealousy, but with your pile, it's more so I feel insecure around you. Um, but the one thing I will say to you is pile number three. Uh, we can't make a person feel a certain way. That's one thing I've learned recently. Um, we may source, we may... Uh, bring out that feeling within them, help them look at that. Um, we may trigger that feeling that is already within them, but we can't necessarily bring out a feeling within them that's not already there. So that is what spirit is bringing to my attention. Like you can't make a person feel angry if they're not, if they're not a, if they're not going to react to something you said to them or did. Um, if that thing doesn't make them angry. You know, you can't make a person feel insecure if they're already confident in themselves. If you're a beautiful person or handsome person and they're a beautiful or handsome person and, you know, or they see their own beauty because I believe everybody has beauty of their own. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If they are confident within themselves, you being confident and you being beautiful wouldn't make them any less beautiful. Do you get what I mean? So if they were already confident in themselves, you wouldn't bring out that feeling in them. So this is already within them. You're just making them aware of it. So that's what I want to say here. Okay, I'm sensing like people see you as very angelic in some way, very pure, but this is my pile of earth angels. And I do feel like this happens to you a lot where other people you sort of like trigger things within their mind that have already been there, certain feelings within their heart that have already been there to bring a healing to them, to bring a healing to them, to help them more aware of what is going on within their mental health that they need to be aware of where they need to end that cycle, work on some healing, some hard healing. So for some of these people, as I say this, my third eye is expanding a lot where it physically hurts. Um, your intuition may scream at you when people are jealous of you, when people are speaking about you negatively, when people are insecure around you. And I actually sense that sometimes you will do something so unexpected to these types of people. This is the energy I'm picking up on the strongest here within the pile. So you will do something unexpected for these people where somehow you'll feel this intuitive need to go up to them and compliment them, to go up to them and give them a genuine compliment that helps them see their own beauty. And I, I feel like sometimes maybe your intuition doesn't tell you they're jealous or insecure, but I feel more insecurity from this pile. Some people will be jealous. And then somehow you'll go up to them or you'll say something nice or kind or sweet to them. And it's kind of like they'll feel more welcomed in your presence. They feel more of this kind of sense of a liking towards you. And like, I shouldn't feel insecure around this person because they're so kind and sweet. So it's kind of like when you go up to a person and your intuition screams at you to go and talk to them, to go and make them feel a little bit more comfortable and at ease. There's something about you helping them let go of that insecurity. 
I, I'm definitely seeing that. I'm definitely seeing you go up to a person and compliment them on a day that they feel insecure, um, on a day that they feel worried that they're not attractive or that, yeah, I'm kind of getting that energy. So what else here, spirit? Some of you could have a very athletic build. There's something about people looking at you and saying that you're gorgeous. Um, there's something about your eyes that really stand out. Some of you like to wear more of the smoky eye I'm seeing or more of this um, dark, edgy aesthetic. Some of you like to dress in more of this expensive, luxurious way. Uh, some of you come across as more sexy and sensual. So I'm seeing variations here of people. I'm seeing men here with very soft hair where people want to like not touch your hair but like play with your hair because it looks so soft and flowy um, like these two men here and I'm seeing men with more of like the softer face that looks kind of like sweet you know um, and I'm seeing women here that look very angelic in some way. Like, you are the literal definition of that quote, did you fall from heaven or something like that. I feel that energy here. Um, with the Eight of Wands, some people feel like um, taking action towards you or communicating with you, asking you for the, your number. Uh, some people feel sensually attracted to you based off your look. What else am I getting here? Let's get some more cards. Uh, a few more cards. Knight of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Star. Okay, there's something about people feeling the need to put you on a pedestal. Feeling like you shine bright. Like you're the star. And you shine bright. But there's also this energy here of you inviting in people that are insecure. And I feel this has happened many times where they would wish they could look like you. Because we have the Nine of Cups at the back of the deck. And I, I feel like you already intuitively know this. There's something about you bringing this feeling to those that are insecure. Where it's like, I wish I could look like you. Or I wish I could have hair like you. Or you know, a face like you, um, or a body like you, or I wish I could have your clothing style because your style is amazing. There's something here about people feeling like they could wish that you had, that they could look like you in some way. But then with the star energy, it's like, I see you almost like holding them by their hand and showing them that, yeah, like you see my shine. I see you doing this energetically to people not literally, but a metaphor, like holding them, holding their hand and saying, you know, you see my own shine, but that shine you see within me is within you too. See how bright you shine and showing a mirror to them that they forgot how beautiful they shine. So it's like people see that star quality within you, how much you shine. They put you on a pedestal and then you show them that they shine too. You empower them too in some way, shape or form with the way you treat them. So with the chariot here, some people feel, what do they feel? Knight of Pentacles, the chariot. I'm feeling that energy of putting you on a pedestal, like feel the need to put you on a pedestal, feel the need to almost like look at you as a dream girl, dream boy, um, to them romantically, I'm seeing that, where it's like, I almost want to chase after you with the Eight of Wands. That's the, that's the message I get here, and I'm getting your look makes people feel like spoiling you, like, I'm seeing somebody maybe want to buy you a coffee, or somebody want to buy you a gift, or something along those lines, or uh, take you out on a date. I'm also sensing here, when you travel, if you've ever traveled, there's something about you looking beautiful or handsome or attractive to many different types of people all, all over the world. Something about that is coming through. So now let's take a look at your tarot cards. 
I mean, not tarot cards, oracle cards. So in the last month, only 41% of my viewers have subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy this video so far and would like to stay up to date with what I post daily, hit the subscribe button to not miss out. Thank you to everybody that supports my channel. I'm sending you so much love and gratitude and thank you for being here with me. So Spirit Guides of Pile 3. There's definitely a feeling of like wanting to chase you here, sensual attraction. Spirit guides of pile number three, uh, how their look makes people feel. So we have the pontiff of possibilities. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. So there's something here about romance here where people will start thinking about the possibilities of, oh my gosh, what would it be like to date pile number three? What would it be like to be friends with pile number three? Even with this putting you on a pedestal thing, it also happens with your friendships, believe it or not. Then we have the goddess of discernment with I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. So I feel like this is your energy where you are a little bit discerning when it comes to people at first. So you kind of like have this energy about you where you seem very mysterious at first, like when people first meet you, where you seem a little bit closed off, but not in a bad way. It's more so like you haven't reached that level with me yet. So um, with people, I've seen this, like you can't open up too quickly to people you first have to get to know them because one mistake I've made <laughs> in my life is like opening up to people too quickly where I trust them too quickly and then I realize they're not somebody I can trust, you know, and it's a weird feeling. So I, I sense you being a little bit more discerning at first with people and because of that, because you have this kind of nonchalant energy to you at first, Again, it makes people want to chase after you. It makes people almost like, let's say uh, somebody asks you out on a date and you say no. I'm clairvoyantly seeing the scene from the notebook where he chases after her and doesn't take no for an answer. I'm seeing something along those lines. We have the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. I'm almost getting the sense how I mentioned you are somebody's dream girl, dream boy. It's like people see you and they're like, I wish I could have you in my life. Um, imagine the possibilities of what we could be. So I see people thinking like that, even in terms of friendship, not just relationships. Like, it would be a miracle to be with this person. This is the type of person I've prayed for having, you know. Um, something about that's coming through. Then we have the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. I just saw 1515. That may be an angel number that's significant to someone here. We have the morning star with my ego is in service of my soul. And I trust my soul's divine timing. So again, we have the star energy here. So it's almost like people feel like they're looking at a literal star and they keep wanting to stare at the star. I feel like that. Um, some people will want to impress you so much. They'll overthink to the point that they get a headache because I feel a headache coming on now. But I don't know how to explain when I feel these energetic things, but it feels like that type of headache you get from overthinking. So I'm seeing something along those lines where some people will kind of feel like you're out of their league, where they'll feel like, you know, I want to go up to them and talk to them, but will they even like me? Um, maybe they go up to you and talk to you, but they overthink everything they say, like, should I say this or should I say this? So I'm seeing something along those lines. Your look could sometimes intimidate people, not in a bad way, but because they want to impress you so much, because they've put you on a pedestal. It's like people see you as very powerful and very confident. That's how they see you, by the way you carry yourself and by the way you look, whether that is true or not. So it's like because you seem very powerful, it's like, for example, somebody wanting to date you would want to feel like they match up to your level. So sometimes you'll have people that try to impress you with 
things that are not going to impress you. So say, for instance, um, since they feel so much of this need to impress you, maybe they're like, oh, I have this type of car. And you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm kind of getting that energy. It doesn't have to be like that exactly, but it's like, they try to impress you so much, sometimes they try too hard, and I'm seeing that, and then you end up not being impressed, whereas if they were just being themselves, you would have been more impressed by them in the first place. It's something about people feeling like you're very alluring in some way. I'm seeing that. For those that kind of have this bougie look to you or this more like independent look to you, there's something about people wanting to seem smart in front of you, wanting to seem independent as well. So some of you have this kind of look to you where you look put together. You look like you have your life uh, together. You look independent. You look smart. Um, and then people will also try to impress you by being the same. So I don't know what type of feeling that would be, but a feeling of wanting to impress you. And you have this type of look to you like, I, I, I don't need to rely on anybody to have what I need. I provide everything for myself that I need. Uh, so it's almost like people will try to go and spoil you or try to give you things in some way because you seem so independent. I'm sensing that. So what other feelings do we have here that they look brings out in people's spirit? I don't know if somebody here really travels because I'm hearing a plane go by as I ask spirit and the chariot came out and I mentioned travel earlier. So I don't know if some of you travel, maybe post pictures at the beach or on holiday and it makes other people want to travel too. Something about that is coming through for somebody here. What other feelings are there? It's more so this need of wanting to impress you, putting you on the pedestal and wanting to get your attention. That's like the type of feeling I'm getting here. Like I want to chase after you. I want to impress you. I want you to notice me. I'm seeing that. So this is what I have for you, Pile 3. Wonderful reading. I really hope this reading resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.